What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Currency Counts where I cover all things money from how to save money, make more money, side hustles and everything in between. Now in today's video what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some comments and questions from this one video that's been getting a lot of traction. I thought it'd be a little bit easier making this video rather than answering everybody's individual questions. They'd go by a little bit quicker. So if you're watching this video and you ask a question, great. If not, maybe somebody else has the same question that I can answer. So here we go. So the first question here on this video, the self credit is, do you have to do the credit card or can you just pay the original plan? That lost me. So the way it's gonna work is you're gonna go to self.inc, self.inc, and from there, it's gonna send you to this prompt right here. Your monthly commitment, which is gonna be $25, 35, 48, or 150. Now somebody else also asked, is it gonna help my credit even more if I go with the higher tier? No, it's not. If all you're trying to do is to rebuild your credit, go with the lowest plan, go with the $25 because it doesn't matter if you go with uh, the $25 monthly commitment, which is your monthly payment, or you go with the $150 monthly payment. For example, if you're trying to build credit and you go to a FCU, you can take out a secured loan for as little as $100. So you take out that secured loan, you can go back in the next day and pay it off pay that hundred dollars you might have like 25 cents of interest or something like that that you might have to pay on top of that but that will be the same thing on your credit report as putting 150 dollars a month towards this card right here if that makes any sense because the way the credit bureau looks at it it doesn't look at the amount it looks at the account so it looks at the account okay is it paid in full is it paid satisfactory were all the payments made on time if they were great so it doesn't really matter if it's a hundred dollars a thousand or ten thousand it doesn't matter the amount of the payment now it is going to matter if you're working on debt to income or excuse me your credit usage so if you have ten thousand dollars worth of credit and you're using nine thousand five hundred now you're at like 95 percent credit usage so that's going to bring your credit score lower right so you want to keep your credit usage under 30 percent if right now you have high credit usage if you bring those cards down your balances or whatever you have you're going to see your credit score skyrocket just from that all right next question oh so i don't even think i answered this person's question right here so do you have to get the credit card no you don't you, you can just pay the original plan which is a credit builder okay this person commented my score went up 90 points within three months definitely works great okay so tyrone jackson asked which amount do you suggest to start i know it's different for everyone but if you have the money i want to know the perks differences of the 25 35 and 48 okay there are no perks there's no perks in any of these tiers the only difference in these tiers is the amount you're going to be paying per month that's really the only difference Th these cards are not or this account is not really for perks at all it's strictly for rebuilding your credit that's why they're charging you this i would say is a crazy high apr at 15.92 percent if you do the 25 dollars tier you'd be at 600 dollars. that'd be your total number of payments all together right all in total number of payments but when it's all said and done you're going to receive 520 dollars. so you paid 89 dollars in finance charges so 80 dollars plus the one-time non-refundable administrative fee land z i hope i said that right i started self last year on a two-year agreement but i paid it off this year only one year with self and my credit increased my credit score increased by 130 points i'm thinking about doing it again all right if you do it again just know that your score probably won't increase by another 130 points uh just depends where your credit score was just know that that is something that might not happen again as far as shooting up that far it probably will go up if you open another account but it's not going to go up by 130 points just throwing that out there jesse swadis asked i just finished my account this month when will i get my money back and how do i receive it it should have been released into your self account within a few days of you paying the loan off so double check that if you haven't received uh your funds now it's not going to go into your bank it's going to go into your your self account 
So check your self account and see if that money's there. If it's not there, you're gonna wanna contact self. Okay, so Stefan Money asks, if I choose to pay $35 a month, can I increase my monthly amount to 150 after the first month? No, you can't because each account is different. If you wanna go to the 150 tier, you'd have to open another account under that 150 tier. Once you commit to a certain tier, you're locked into that tier till it's paid off. DJP asks, if I pay more monthly, does it help my credit more? What's the difference? Well, no, it doesn't. What would help your credit more is if you pay it off entirely. And that's what's gonna actually help your credit. So let me break it down just a little bit. All that shows up on your credit report is that that account was paid that month. It doesn't show how much was paid. It just shows that it was paid on time, paid satisfactory. A little trick is if you have that 12 month term and within the first month, you pay that whole loan off, well, it's gonna show that you paid 12 months of satisfactory payments or 12 months of on-time payments. And that will boost up your credit score, not paying more per month, but actually paying the whole loan off. That's what you're shooting for, to pay the whole loan off and that loan showing paid satisfactory, paid on time. Tiago, sorry, I can't say your last name. If I pay it off early before the day, they take out the monthly payment, does it help or not really? Okay, so this goes back to what I was saying. If you pay the whole loan off early, yes, it does. But if you just pay your monthly minimum before the due date, no, it doesn't. Simple and straight to the point, thank you. Great, thank you. Let's see here, we got a little bit of spam here. Let's remove these. Does my first three payments before I get the card report to the credit bureaus? Yes, they do. Because if they're not, what's the point, right? What's the point of this account? So yes, they do report to the three credit bureaus. Astro Flux ask, or Flukes, I'm sorry if I said it wrong. So in conclusion, you pay them for 12 to 24 months and they give you back your money essentially. Exactly. You gotta remember, this is not something to actually take out credit uh, for any reason, right? You have a credit card, great, I have a $10,000 spending limit, I'm gonna go spend that 10,000. This is not that. This is to actually help you build credit or rebuild your credit. That's it. Has anyone else heard of Royal Finance Rescue? Yes, Matthew Abbey. They're gonna charge you $2,000 to send some letters. So it's up to you, but just know that's what you're paying for. Okay, so Meditation with Christopher asks, to get the credit card feature, you need to have $100 in the loan account. By $100 in the loan account, do you mean after making $100 worth of payments to them? No, not $100 worth of payments, because some of that money is gonna be going to that APR. But just remember, this is a secured card, which basically means if you have the $500 tier and you're paying in to your account, so you keep moving money over into your card, Let's say you move your whole 500. Once your 500's paid off, well now you don't get that $500 back because you just moved that money into your secured card and that's what you have to use for credit. So that account's paid, but you're not getting that money because it's over here in your card. What I would do is just deal with the self builder account to build my credit a little bit, pay that off, get my money back, and hopefully my credit score did go up and I go try to take out a unsecured card where I don't have to put anything down and I have my $500 or 1000 or whatever it is and it's not wrapped up in this other card. So that might be a route to go down before you actually just start taking bits and chunks of that money and just moving it over. This info was so helpful on my curiosity to the point I decided to give it a try, thanks. All right, Tony, appreciate that. Myra Pizana asked, we get a credit card after a certain amount of payments or, well, no, it goes back to what I was just saying right now. You can apply for the secured card, but you don't have to apply for the secured card. That's totally up to you. Angelic Re said, this video was very useful. I appreciate that. Okay, my name is Carissa. I'm new to this. I haven't watched the video all the way through. Well, you should if you haven't. But I went on the app and they said that I must be 18 or older. I can still do it. Being patient. I'm like 17 years old. Turn... Okay, what was the question? Okay, so yeah, you're gonna have to wait till you actually turn 18 to get this account. Is there an age limit for this? Yes, 18. Well, that's good. Everybody that's inquiring about credit that's under 18 to actually be ready and hit the ground running when you turn 18 because it takes a while to get everything going. When my son turned 18, we got out there right away and tried to open some accounts and get his credit established. And right now he's about to turn 21 
and his credit score is right over the 700 so it takes time uh it took maybe about a year to come up uh, to about maybe like a 640 from having a zero credit score when you're 18. So it, it takes time to get everything going. And you gotta remember, um, if you are young and uh, you are 18, you take out a credit card or something like that, don't go out and start spending it on everything because that's very easy to do. Oh, I have this $1,000 credit card, $500 credit card. I'm gonna go just spend up a storm. You don't wanna do that. You wanna be responsible with credit because as you get older, you're gonna look back and say, man, why did I do that? I just messed up on my credit. That's how we get into these bad situations. So you wanna be um, very respectful of your credit. I wanted to restart and pay a higher amount. Is there a way I can do that or will this go against my credit? Okay, so if you do have a certain tier, you're gonna to wanna to pay that tier off if you wanna actually restart. You shouldn't go with the higher amount. Is there a certain reason you want to go with the higher amount? You're going to get higher finance charges. So I'd probably advise just to stay with the tier you're at, pay that off, see if your credit score goes up, and again, apply for an unsecured card. Cody Patino said, they haven't reported on my credit report in the last three months, and I paid it. Scam. And Tay said, are you serious? Okay, so they should report every month. If for some reason they're not reporting, you might want to try contacting self. Also, what happens sometimes is it kind of gets backlogged and all at once, you'll see those three months show up on your credit report. Uh, and if it goes longer than three months, maybe four or five months, sometimes you'll see that whole five months at one time show up on your credit report. Um, not saying that there's not something going on here, but you might want to try calling self to see what they tell you and why they're not reporting. George Mange says, they will approve you and they will steal your money and your credit score will get worse. Don't do it. I put them to the test six months ago and they stole $580, gave me back 180 and they stay with the money. Okay, so really not sure what's going on here, why they would steal your money, but they give you back 180. Maybe the money that they didn't give you back was the finance charges. I'm really not too sure, right? Because Every situation is different, but you also mentioned your credit score gets worse. Yes, it actually does get worse when you actually apply because two things happen. They will pull your credit. You're going to get that inquiry on your report. So when you get an inquiry on your report, your credit score is going to go down by a few points. Plus a new account that you have open, it's going to show that you have a balance. So let's say you got the thousand dollar tier. Now it's going to show you have a thousand dollar balance. If you have a high balance on any account, that's going to bring your credit score even lower, maybe 15 or 20 points. But as you pay that down, your credit score will start to go back up. Plus, because you're making on time payments, your credit score is going to go even further up above where it was. Christopher Waits asked, can you buy stuff with this card? Well, not with the account, but with the self secured card, you can. Crazy Chicken said, I'm at 735, I started at 550. Nice. Thanks for sharing with us, man. Really informative video. Thank you, I appreciate that. Heather Potterfield asks, or says, good video, but personally, I don't think self lender is worth it. George Mange, the same guy as earlier. Don't do it, so calendar will steal from you if you deposit $1,000. You'll probably get back to hungry like I did I pay every month on time and that's what what I got 230 don't do it okay got you and that's pretty much all the comments all the questions so again the self lender account is not a credit card it's just to boost your credit score it's pretty much a secured loan from a secured loan once you have a hundred dollars and three months worth of on-time payments now you can take out a secured credit card it's pretty much as simple as that, straightforward. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope I answered all you guys' questions. Thanks for watching and check you on the next one.